Hi everyone, I Shurujit welcome you all on Econometrics the channel. आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सेवन का मैथमेटिक्स तो बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास नाउ क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट Today we are again going to continue with chapter one in teachers. Okay. Now today's part is part fourteen. Those who have not watched the previous part, I would like to request you all to watch those previous parts. Okay. The link is at the end of the video, and also it is in the playlist. Okay. Now today we are going to understand something new. Okay. What it is? the simplification of mathematical expression that means mathematical expressions we were understanding with the help of the integers now we will understand more about how to simplify these mathematical expressions so here i have written here while simplifying mathematical expressions with whole numbers in class 6 you have studied whole numbers okay in 5 class 5 you have studied whole numbers so when you are doing any simplification mathematical expressions then what rule you are going to follow you used to follow the rule bodmas okay and now when we are doing the chapter integers here also the same rule is followed in the simplification of mathematical expressions with integers so if you are doing integers also you have to follow the same rule that is the bodmas rule okay for what for simplifying the mathematical expressions okay for whole numbers also bodmas rule for integers also same bodmas rule you have to follow i think up to this much it is clear now students according to this rule according to this bodmas rule the operations okay in a mathematical expression a performed in the following order we have to maintain one order and what is that order bodmas okay so when we talk about bodmas rule then b o d m a s okay so b stands for bracket okay so first we solve the mathematical expression given in brackets okay we will start with solving the bracket portion first after that comes o o means off the off portion we will solve it and after solving that one then we will proceed to division d d means division okay then m m stands for multiplication then we will do the multiplication part and after that e a means the addition part and then subtraction the subtraction part clear so in this way we will proceed first the bracket then of then division then multiplication then addition and at last subtraction i think up to this much it is clear to you all okay now students once we understand the bodmas rule now bodmas rule starts with bracket now only for bracket also we have to follow the same bodmas rule why because even with brackets the rule of bodmas is followed okay that means bodmas rule b stands for bracket in bracket also there are different different kinds of bracket also so there also we have to follow one order okay and what is that order for that these brackets are again subdivided into different different types first you can see like a sleeping line so this is called line brackets brace brackets vin coulomb or bar okay so when this line bracket comes then we have to do this one first after that you can see this one so it is called simple brackets or round brackets or small brackets okay then you can see this curly one is there so it is called curly brackets or braces okay and this last one what you can see this is box brackets or square bracket okay so here line brackets round brackets curly brackets and 
box or square brackets okay so you have to follow like this way first you have to do this one then this one then this one and then this one okay so i think the rules of simplifying mathematical expressions okay you have understood and the rule is very very simple you have to use the bodmas rule b for bracket o for of d for division m for multiplication a for addition and s for subtraction and when we are starting with brackets bracket also one rule is there first one is the line bracket or you can say the bar second one is the round bracket or small bracket and the third one is what curly brackets and the fourth one is what box brackets okay so this rule you have to follow understanding or no so you have to do these things first clear so if you don't know these things then the exercise which we are going to do today that you cannot do okay you will do the simplification but the answer will not come because you have to follow this rule and then only the correct answer will come theek hai to chalo shuru karte hain the next exercise now we are going to solve exercise 1.5 okay but before that i would like to request the students who are new to my channel to please give a like share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe it really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all okay and don't forget to press the all notification bell ting ting so that whenever i upload new videos you will get the notifications first okay now let us see what they are telling in the question they are telling we have to simplify see simplify the following mathematical expressions using bodmas rule okay that means this expression we have to uh, solve it we have to find out the value of this expression but we have to use bodmas rule now very big expression is there but first we will see b stands for bracket so again bracket also many brackets are there so what we will see the small brackets okay so this portion we have to do first can you see this portion so rest we will copy as it is okay so 83 minus then bracket then 29 minus again curly bracket 6 divided by 3 minus now this is the thing because this portion we are going to do first and other things i told you you have to keep as it is now here inside this portion one sign is minus one is divide so you have to follow this one so which one is first division and then subtraction so we will do the division first and then the subtraction portion so 6 minus we will be will be as it is now 9 divided by 3 so how much 3 only because 3 3 is a 9 now 83 minus 29 minus again 6 divided by 3 minus okay now see this portion we are going to do 6 minus 3 6 minus 3 is how much 3 so we will write 3 and now when you are writing 3 we will not put any more this small bracket okay then we will write this portion divided by again 3 and then curly bracket and the box, uh, box bracket okay now after that 83 minus now 29 minus now we will do the curly bracket portion okay this portion we are going to do but before doing this portion we have to see again the bodmas rule here divide minus divide so divide we have to do first so you can see here 6 divided by 3 how much 3 how much is 6 2 is a, so 2 okay then again this minus sign is there Again, three divided by three. Three divided by three is how much? One. 
because 3 1s are 3. Okay, 3 divided by 3 means 3 divided by 3 like this. So it comes 1. So we wrote 1. Again 6 divided by 3 means what? 6 divided by 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. Clear? Again here also, see 9 divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 means 9 divided by 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 3 is a 9. This is actually happening. Okay. But you can do it orally. If you cannot do, then you can do the rough. Okay. Now, 83 minus 29 minus 2 minus 1. Now, see this curly bracket 2 minus 1, 1. And then the box bracket. We are closing with the box bracket. Okay. Because 2 minus 1 is 1. Now, no more to write the curly bracket. Okay. Now, the next one. 83 minus, okay. Now, 29 minus 1, very easy, 28. Clear? Now, we have to subtract. Now, if you cannot do subtraction, directly you can do like this way, 83, 28. And you can borrow, it. make it 7, 13. 13 minus 8, how much? 5. And 7 minus 2, how much? 5. So, what you get? 55 and this is the answer clear understanding or no so this is the answer so you have to follow the bodmas rule to get the answer okay so practice this sum and understand and know the bodmas rule nicely okay video agar acha lage to video ko Zada se zada share karo, like karo, comment karo. Or channel agar acha lage, to channel ko subscribe karna mat bhuliega. Milte hai aur ek acche content ke saath. Tab tak ke liye bye bye.